this AI agent builds entire websites, creates detailed reports, in fact manages email, Slack and Jira, everything from a single prompt all on its own. The results are mind blowing and this is the website that it built for me from a single prompt which I can directly deploy. I'm talking about Deep Agent by Chatalilum by Abacus AI. All you have to do is go there and then give a prompt like in this case, create a website about biryani restaurants in Bangalore pick 15 top restaurants to talk about it. It asks me some follow up question about what kind of things that the website should have. I'm just going to tell it just go on and then go on with whatever you want to do. The ideal output that I'm expecting from this is that I want it to give me a directory which I can just directly go deploy it. This deep agent is one of the most meticulous agents I've ever seen because it does a pretty good job with planning. It creates tasks and then subtasks and then it starts executing every task one by one. For example, in this particular case, because I want a directory or I want a website with food, it knows that first it has to get details about biryani restaurants in Bangalore. And then first thing that it does is it goes to different kind of resources on internet and tries to collect data. What I did not expect it is that it will, I didn't know that it is going to go find the images even for the website in itself. I've used a lot of different agents. Whenever you want to build a directory website, they do not have images. Even forget about the real images, even some websites do not have placeholder images, but that is exactly where Deep Agent impressed me. Not only that it collected data, it also had the information that it should collect price, rating, and other meta information for the biryani restaurants that I'm looking for. And it collected food images, not just food images, but food images, actual food images of what people have published on YouTube and everywhere else. This was quite impressive that the planning had all these tasks listed and then it decided to have access to all these different websites and collect the information and come back and build a website for us. I was also impressed by the variety of websites where it went to collect data, both images and the text information. It was very interesting to see the kind of websites it is ready to go just to get one particular information. So I don't know how they have done it, what kind of web agent that they've got, but this is truly powerful to collect different information from different websites, whether it is a research project or in this case, like if you want to build directory zero shot completely without a single human hand that it has got internet access but it has also got bash access that means it can go to terminal create files so whatever information it collected it is going to store it as a markdown file another very brilliant implementation so once it stores everything as a markdown file as you can see here the restaurant name the location speciality pricing the image url which is going to be used for thumbnail of the directory all these things will come as an input to the website that we are going to build or the website that deep agent is going to build for it. As you can see here, this is completely automated. I don't have to do anything. This is just task number one and then it has completed 35 subtask under task number one. And once we finish task number one, which in this case I've asked for 15 restaurants, then it would ideally move to the next task. At this point, the agent has concluded that the research is completed and the data has been stored in the markdown file. So it is deciding the next step, which is to use the content base for creating website, use the content that it just extracted, exact specific details, design the stack that as you can see here, and you can see that it has already started coding in TypeScript. So it is creating whatever that it, uh, it created from the markdown file, it is going to add it to the TypeScript and then keep the TypeScript file. This is our task number two, which is to design the website in itself. And within task number two, we are just in the first subtask, which is to create the data.ts file. And once this is done, then it is going to go ahead and then create the entire website for you. And the good thing here is that, that you have also got a preview mode and you can deploy it. So while the website is getting designed right now, you can't see anything. But once the website gets into a decent shape, you can see that the UI is being designed. Then you can go to the preview tab and then just click preview and then see the website for yourself. If Again, you want to deploy it, there's just one command right that you can just go ahead right and deploy so it. Has right now it is deciding to build the website. Done. So it has used a yarn run dev to build the website. The website is live. It is saying that application can be previewed at this particular URL, but I'm still waiting for it to give me this entire thing to just say that everything is done. Okay, the application is there. It has deployed it and not like permanent deployment, but like a temporary deployment. You can just click and access it and then see it. It is so brilliant and beautiful that you can access this entire website. I mean, you wanted a directory. Directory business is so hot right now. If you want to build a directory business, this is the easiest way to use deep agent and then just give a single prompt and it will build the entire directory for you, which you can directly use it and deploy it and then start improving upon. I mean, look at the pages, like it has also created different pages for me to use it. It has got all the things like the rating and the thumbnail, everything in place 
like a typical web developer would do and it has got given me like instructions what all things that i have to do if i want to take it to the next step it's pretty amazing that this is only zero shot and just 10 minutes within 10 minutes it managed to give me a highly responsive website which is like compatible with mobile tablet and all the different interfaces and it has got actual information see this is not an information from llm this is a deep agent that went to the internet, collected all these pictures, collected all these texts without having a single human intervention. And then it came back to me, designed an entire website. If you have had a team, this will take about like two through three weeks at least to get this kind of thing in place in a decent enough corporate. But here you can see that it has created a full fledged Next.js project. And that project is simply available for me to use, access, deploy, preview, everything within just 10 minutes of deep agent effort. It's, it's quite mind blowing, you know, how much of human automation you can do with this particular kind of thing. And this is just game getting started. Like many other existing agents, deep agent can also access Gmail, Slack, Jira. So if you have got Jira tickets and you want to build a dashboard, everything is just zero shot. If you have got Slack messages that you wanted to handle, everything is zero shot. If you want to do email automation, then everything is just zero shot. So you can use deep agent to automate every boring task in your life. And also if you want to do like research, publish websites, you want to have like a mini SaaS or a micro SaaS as a side business, then you can just simply go to deep agent, just give you a task, just answer the follow up question and then it will have it ready for you in another 10 to 15 minutes. This is one of the most versatile deep agent I've ever seen. So you can just go give zero shot and it will plan everything for you, get everything done, have it to the level that you can just single click and deploy it. This is quite amazing in terms of automation and then the kind of productivity gain that you can gain for your business. If you want me to create more tutorials, more hands on exactly specifying what you should do to build your own micro SaaS or something else, let me know in the comment section. See you in another video. Happy prompting.